welcome back to our math class students in your previous class you learned two concepts right children comparison of numbers and ordering number you will study that concept today we are going to study ordinal numbers okay today we are going to study ordinal numbers okay shall we study okay let's start our class okay children i have drawn few objects on the board and i have written numbers on the pillow i have drawn some pictures on the board and below right i written the numbers also okay then now i will be asking questions and you have to say you need to tell me what is the position of the object placed on the board you have to say what is the position of the object on the board okay here we have tree flower ball star one triangle pencil sweet butterfly kite and a rectangle also okay you have to i will ask you what is the position of one object i will say one object you have to say what is the position of the object on the board so how will you tell we have to tell that the ball is placed on the third position the ball is placed on the third position how will you tell third okay the position third position the first position tree what it is tree first position tree then second flower third ball fourth position it is a star what it is children it is a star then triangle which position it is fifth position pencil sixth position sweet seventh butterfly eighth position a cat it is ninth position rectangle is tenth position okay look here children first second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth and tenth you have to study this the positions okay you have to study all of the these positions very how to study this all positions okay children so whenever you whenever we mention a number in the position position we will be adding on the top th the th okay 8th 9th 10th like that okay whenever we mention a number in the position we will be adding th th okay children look 4th 5th 6th 7th 8th 9th 10th like that okay do you understand children okay hey, children now we are going to study the new concept this is not new we already studied in our first chapter okay what it is before after and between okay before what is what do you mean by before we already studied right children what do you mean by before before means the previous one before means the previous one and after means what do you mean by after see yes next one after means the next one then between means the middle one between means the middle one okay shall we do some more activities are you ready children okay the first we can do before okay here have one dash and seven what is before seven which number is say 1 six after seven so seven before which number children six then we can write here six okay then next one is one dash is there and five what is the number before five which number is say one two three four five four after five right so five before four then we can write here four the last one one dash is there then three children you have to say the answer what is the answer before three which number children yes it is two very good next is after after means the next one after means the next number i i have written here four right children i have written here four four after which number yes it is five then we can write here five nine after which is nine after which number children nine after which number one two three four five six seven eight nine yes it is ten then we can write here ten okay then last one it is 
eight. Eight after which number? Six. Yes, it is nine. Very good. Last one is between. The last one is between. Between means what? The middle one. The middle one. Look here, children. I have written here some numbers. Four and one dash. Then six. Four after which number? See? Yes. Four after five. Right. Very good. Then six. Before which number? Before which six? Which number? That also five. Right. So four and six between which number? Yes. It does five. Then we can write here five. Then look here, children. Seven and one dash and nine. Between which number? See? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine and seven. Seven and nine. Between which number? It is eight. It is eight. Then we can write here eight. Then last one here. Two and one half. Two and one dash is there. Then one four. Which number is between number? Which is between number? After and before which number is right? Say yes. It is three. Very good. We did it. Okay. You do you understand children? I hope you all understood the concept. We already studied this concept. Right children? Okay. I okay, children. There is a homework for you. Okay. This is your homework. Fill in the blanks by writing the numeral that comes. Okay, you have to write which number comes before, which number comes between, and which number comes after. Okay, then where it is? Ah, ordinal numbers. This also you have to write. Read the passage. Then which is the positions it is? Read the questions. Gaurav was standing at which which position? Gaurav, Gaurav, Gaurav standing the first position. So you have to write here first position. Okay, you have to write here first position. Then Aishu is standing at which position? Where is Aishu? Ah, it is ninth position. It is ninth position. So you have to complete this also. Then you have to write ordinal numbers. This also. Then you have one worksheet. I will read the worksheet. Then you have to do this. Okay, complete the table given below. Ah, here are some numbers and some hidden numbers also. You have to write it. You have to complete this. Okay, children. You have one, then one missing, right? One, two, three, like that. Okay, next one is count and match. You have to count these objects and match it. Okay, first one: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. How many pencils, children? Fourteen pencils. Then you have to match it. Number fourteen. Okay. Then put the sign. It is greater than, less than, or equal. That is, you have to put the sign correctly. Then write the following in descending order and ascending order. We already studied the concept ascending and descending ordering numbers, right, children? Then you have to complete this also and write. Okay, the last one is write the ordinal numbers. Now only we studied, right, children? So you have to write seven. Seven means what is the position? Seventh, seventh, five, fifth, three, third, then tenth, tenth. Like that, you have to write. Okay, you have. So you have to do this all activities and send it to my WhatsApp. Okay, children. Okay, children, we will meet again. Thank you. Have a nice day.